Welcome to this video lecture series on programming questions for placement preparation. So today the problem we are going to deal with is reverse a linked list. So it means uh, given a singly linked list we will have to reverse it. If 1, 2, 3, 4 is given a linked list with 1 as head we have to uh, print as output 4, 3, 2, 1 where 4 will be the head. So let's have a look at the approach we will be taking on. So uh, the approach is uh, we will be dividing the singly linked list in two parts. The first will contain uh, uh, the two parts will be named as first and rest. The first will contain the head and the rest will contain the rest of the list. Now every time we call a recursion uh, on this function by passing the rest node to it until the rest becomes null. Now we set the next field of the next to first node as first that means we are reversing it and we are setting the link of the first to null lastly we will make the rest node as the head of the linked list and we will have a reverse linked list so uh, let's have a better understanding with this diagram here so we are given this linked list here 1 2 3 4 and we want this output to have 4 3 2 1 where 4 will be the head what we are doing we are taking this head as first and the rest of the linked list as rest so rest will be head of the rest of the linked list and now we are going to uh, take a recursion call on this rest till uh, the rest becomes null so at the first recursion call when rest is passed and again this function in, function is invoked this will become first this will become rest as rest is not null so another recursion call will be there then this will be first this will be rest now also rest is not null so another recursion call and we'll have rest is null so if rest is null we do not uh, do that so here at this point this is the first and this is the rest what we do we do that first next next is equal to first basically if we see this is the first and this is the rest we see first next is equal to rest right and rest next is equal to null so here we are not going to do anything with the rest rather to invoke the next field of the rest we do first a first next this will uh, take us to this rest and then next field of this first next will be set to first so see this link is getting reversed here here this is the reversal of the link and first next will be pointing to null so previously this will be pointing to this now this will be pointing to null now uh, when the recursion call will be call, you know called back upon from the st uh, stack what we will see every time this uh, link between these two nodes will be reversed and this will point to null again coming back here this link will be reversed and this will point to null so here we uh, after we do this we get this uh, kind of similar you know situation where uh, all the links have been reversed and this uh, you know node here points to null so last thing we need to do we need to set the rest node as the head we didn't do anything with the rest so rest was only this what we did uh, cleverly that we uh, if we had to change the link of the rest we invoked as first next not uh, directly rest so uh, all this will be clear when we jump on to the programming part okay so i have already typed down these lines of codes here basically what i did is uh, i actually created a linked list uh, which actually is one two three four with one as head so let me just run a program uh, so that we can see yes so the linked list is one two three four and our objective is to print uh, four three two one okay so let's do it for that we will just call a function reverse linked list and we'll pass the address of the head node okay and after the reversal is done we'll again intend to print the linked list so that we can see yes uh, it's been reversed or not so let me just define the reverse ll function here so the return type is void and here the argument is struct node star star h let's say so firstly the basic constraints that we have to check 
if the uh, node head node is empty no point of reversing it and if there's only a single node also no point of reversing it so if h rather star h is equals to null or star h sorry next it would be next is equal to is equal to null then just return otherwise i'm going to take two pointers here so struct node star first and i'm going to assign the value of h and another node which will be rest and this will be first next right so now if rest is null then just don't do anything so return otherwise we uh, do a recursion call on this rest node so we have to actually pass the address of the rest node now what we do simple first next next sir next will be first itself and first next will be null lastly in the head will assign the rest simple as that okay so let's now run this program so here is the output as you can see the linked list is 1 2 3 4 and now the linked list after reversal is 4 3 2 1 so uh, there is also another way using three pointers that we could actually reverse a linked list but again we always look for the efficient uh, you know method and as we are seeing that in this method we are using only two pointers also we are um, you know able to use the recursion so it's better to use this uh, method so that was it on how to reverse a linked list thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time